Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome to the Team Trees episode. Yes, I've been trying to to get on for the last couple of days. Everybody knows Roblox has been down. Roblox was just smashed. Like, they, they just destroyed it. The servers, the Chipotle, whatever it was, not the point of this video. This video is for um, Team C's. So I got an email um, uh, two weeks back supposedly uh, sometime actually I could I can look up the exact day that I got it hold on um, it arrived on Friday October 15th so on October 15th mr. Beast and Mark Rober if you guys don't know who they are they sent out this email to I think like a thousand or so um, YouTube creators that had helped with the the team trees um, two years three years back they got 20 million trees uh, 20 million dollars raised to plant trees. They're back at it again with Team C's. They sent this email and said, hey Heath, we're reaching out to you because you're one of those old G creators who made the 20 million more trees exist in the world because of Team Trees. Two years later, we're here uh, once again collecting, uh, fist bumping the earth and gathering hundreds of creators to raise $30 million to get 30 million pounds out of the oceans and the, uh, the beaches and the rivers. So if you haven't seen it, I will leave a link to that video, that in invite, the invite video down in the description down below. But I also am going to be le leaving a link to the teamseas.org um, webpage so you can go and make a difference, make a, make a change. Okay, and I'm gonna be going and donating myself. Uh, it's probably not gonna be too much just because I don't have that much. To, I, like I'm not big, I'm not a big YouTuber, but I'm definitely gonna be using some some of the cash, cash flow that you guys do from the re ad revenue to send to them. And I will, I will post that probably on Twitter. So make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, I don't post Instagram by the way, but I um, asked the, the team to typically, oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm excited. I asked typical developers, um, that's the group that I've been working with with uh, the Windmill Incorporated stuff. Those guys, I said, hey, I know that we're trying to make this, uh, this revamped game and stuff. Would you mind stopping and doing this? And I told them what it was and they, they were excited. They're like, yes, let's do it. And what they did is they jumped on board and started creating this sea uh, cleaning simulator. That's what we're looking at right now. This is the final result. This is this is the product of much time and effort from these guys. It's amazing. It is so amazing. You, you don't even know. This is awesome. Okay. And Sabrina, huge shout out. Sabrina, thank you so much. She shouted me out. I didn't even think I was going to get a shout out. And you know, I know DJ and her have been working on their own game and stuff like that. Holy cow. It was amazing to see how many YouTubers responded, how many Robloxing YouTubers responded, and for Roblox to go down on Friday. Oh, that was supposed to be the day of the release. It went down on Thursday, and we wanted to release it. So here it is. All right, a link to this game will be down in the description down below. If you didn't, can't donate, or if you, like, whatever the case may be, come here and, and just show the support by playing the game and, you know, posting that you're helping clean up the sea and do hashtag Team Seas on whatever social media you're on. Let's go. Um, oh, the wooden boat. Okay, so this is what we started out with. I've actually upgraded. Um, I'm, I'm not level four yet, but I have been playing this a little bit. I'll do the wooden boat real fast, just so you can see. Oh no, I'm still, I'm still Code Ross. So what you do is you go go around and you collect up all this little trash. The the arrow will point to the closest trash near you, just in case it gets lost. See how the ocean is all green and nasty looking? The more trash you pick up, the cleaner this ocean gets. So I thought that was really cool. So. Oh, and I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to like put some hashtags and some other things down in the description. Um, Jimmy, this is for you, buddy. The, the Mr. Beast dude, you know who he is. I hope you know who he is. Like there, there was a lot of people um, that don't know who Mark Rober is and, and everything else. I'm gonna try and, and get that word spread as well. So there was a, some members of my family, like immediate family, brothers-in-laws and stuff. They didn't know who they, they were. I'm like, really? What is that? What is that? Did I just find? I found an Easter egg. Look at that. It's a green Easter egg. Oh, the ocean is so green. 
We gotta go clean this stuff up. Um, let's go ahead and switch boats. I'll show you what the second level is. Oh gosh. Ooh. <laughs> and, just so you know, do you, do you guys hear... Here, let's do this. Um, can we turn off the sound? Well, I guess we can't do it from here, can we? Go to the boats? Parties? Oh, party is not uh, on yet, so... Party on, Wayne. I guess I'd have to turn it off at the very beginning. Anyhow, what's funny is... Oh, what is going on there? Crazy. Oh, there we go. Pick up more trash, pick up more trash. Um, the sound of the boat, it's actually my voice. <laughs> if you listen cl closely, you might hear outro. I'm just kidding. You're not gonna hear outro. But I did. Uh, I asked him. I said, "Hey guys, do you want me to just blow raspberries into a microphone for your your boat sound?" And they kind of giggled at me. And then I showed them what I meant. And literally, it's it's me going. like that into a microphone and then I used audacity and I, I changed it up a little bit and made some cool effects added some echo and here we are we have a, a boat sound that is that is the coolest thing ever um, also a huge shout out to the unity asset store for the uh, the models of the boats I think some of the low polys were done by the developers themselves but a week I mean that's how long it took these guys to get a, a functional game up and running. I am impressed. Super impressed. Did you see it get a little bit lighter? <gasps> we're, we're actually making a difference. Hold on. Let's go, let's go in a straight line here. A little bit of a straight line and just pick up all of this stuff. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Oh, did I miss one? I totally missed one. What kind of trash do we have? We have uh, garbage bags and, and uh, gas tank. Is that a gas tank? Nice. I don't see the doll though. I think they took out the uh, the oh, what's the the name of the game? Game the, the Squid Games. Squid Games. They had the uh, they had uh, the Squid Games. Whoa! <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just pressing left right now. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Oh, sink back in the ocean a little bit. That was funny. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Getting it to skip. Getting it to skip. There you go. There you go. Oh, I'm sailing. What happened? Did you know 17.6 billion pounds of trash are dumped into the ocean yearly? Hmm. There we go. I was able to get rid of the sound. Yay. So now, hold on. Let's turn that sound all the way up. <gasps> That's my, that's my sound. <laughs> I hear a little bit of clipping right there. But that's awesome. <laughs> okay, well, I'll turn it back down. It's kind of, kind of annoying. Oh gosh. Oh, that is so cool. And, and it is uh, rounds based, so you have so many rounds to collect as much trash as possible, and then your name goes onto a, a leaderboard, I think. I think there's a leaderboard somewhere. But it will uh, it will show who's got the most. The ghostest with the mostest. Come on, come on, come on. Go get that trash. Go get that trash. There you go. You have to pick it up with the nets on the side of the boat. It does not work if you try and run over the top of it. Oh, I hear, I hear their, their their motor as well. Hold on. Oh, I was able to bump it. I didn't know you could bump. Hello. I, I know that they're trying to chat to me, probably. But I'm just uh, I'm just here for the cleanup crew. Just part of the ocean cleaning, Mister Mister Planet. Captain Planet. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh no. 
Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, I saw a meme about Captain Planet the other day. It was uh, Miss Frizzle's class, uh, the magic school bus, and the like. It showed all the the members of the uh, Captain Planet team. It's like ah, they all grew up and became savers of the planet, which would totally make sense if they were all in the same class and friends and stuff like that. But I don't think they're uh, they're AU's match up alternate universes. So, anyhow. That is the game. Huge shout out to typical developers. Oh, did it change? It changed. It's getting cleaner. It's getting cleaner. Got a little bit of a weird reflection going on. Oh no, my, my motor's stuck. There we go. Got 300 pounds. 385. 388. I wonder if we would be able to clean up all of this. I got like a ton of people in here just picking everything up we, we've got how many people we've got four people oh wow Natasha dude you've got like 968 pieces of trash removed and it does go off pieces of trash versus um, the amount of trash like the poundage whoa Maybe I should just uh, try and, and collect all the stuff that's closer to home so it's a faster time, what do you think? But that's not what Team Trees is going to do. They're, they are working with charitable donator, or not charitable donator. They're, they are working with um, charities where your donation goes straight to them, um, which is also one reason that we chose not to have any purchasable items for Roblox inside here because we didn't want to have the 30% of the Robux go from here, which, you know, we we wanted to make sure that all profits were going towards Team C's, and we asked all the YouTubers to make sure that you point, point everyone to the Team C's website. So, I'm going to reiterate, please go make a donation. Link will be in the description down below. Um, there is a charity link that they sent to me. Oh, it's getting blue. We got it to turn blue. How much time we got? We got 28 seconds. Let's go. So I will be leaving that in the description. Um, hopefully I can make all the profits from this video go to uh, Team Seeds. There's a, there's a way to link charities and stuff and I hope I hope it all works out. If not, just same. Just make sure that it, you guys are going out to uh, teamseas.org. <gasps> I didn't get to turn that in, did I? Dang it. Well, here we go. Oh, credits. Wait, credits? Credits? Did you know that one plastic bottle can last up to 450 years in the ocean without correct con with the correct conditions? So, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Sea Cleaning Simulator. Link in the description down below, along with the Team C's um, link to go and make your donations. Let's do this, guys. Let's get it to 30 million. 30 million pounds of trash removed out of our oceans. I, I love the ocean. I know you love the ocean. And anybody who's like, oh, I don't care about the ocean. You, you are wrong, sir. You should care about the ocean. Everyone should be doing their best, doing their part. And you know what? It, like... This this entire environment, this, what you're watching right now, these YouTube YouTubers who are coming together in the collaboration, it's showing the younger uh, community, it's showing the younger kids what can happen when you put your mind to it, when you get a bunch of people to all work together. We can make a difference. The time's come. Like, we have to change. Our world is an awesome place to live, and we want to make sure that it's going to be there for generations to come. So... Let's help out. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro.